So first question comes from Matt, and Matt um, asks, I was just wondering what strategies you would use for someone with a narrow ISA who needs to improve their overhead position. My first thought is to get them in the quadruped reaching position and try to get posterior expansion of the thorax to free up the scapula to upwardly rotate overhead. So, so Matt, you're, you're, kind of, you're kind of on point here, but let's go through a little bit of the, the structure and how it influences the expansion compression strategies, the airflow movement, and how we do get the arm overhead. So if we're looking at somebody that, that's, that's narrow, so if I turn Alfred around here, so um, if we look at the ISC here, so if this closes and then we go to posteriorly, we reduce the volume below the level of the scapula posteriorly in the thorax right away. So if this is compressed, then as I elevate the, the arm, the scapula is going to try to move too soon. Or it's not going to have a, enough of a shape, a, a, a rounded shape underneath the scapula to allow the scapula to upwardly rotate normally. So, so my first goal is to get normal expansion here. So you're, you're absolutely correct as far as using that quadruped position. So the quadruped position provides us an advantage because it allows us to bend the ribs. So a narrow ISA actually has straighter uh, downward pointing ribs. And so what we want to do is we want to bend them and, and allow them to, to bucket handle up to a certain degree. And that's what's going to provide us some of this expansion here. So quadruped, again, is, is a great way to uh, promote that expansion. So once we have that expansion below the level of the scapula, now the quadruped position provides us an element of, of compressive strategy here, which is actually upward rotation of the scapula, which is exactly what we need to get the arm overhead. We also need to get expansion anteriorly, so we need the up pump handle, which quadruped also provides as we move the arm through the arc of flexion, especially during the mid-range. Once we get above this middle range of, of shoulder flexion, we again need dorsal rostral expansion to finish the overhead flexion. So Matt, I also want you to pay attention to the rope pulling video that's included with this week's Q&A because there's gonna be some hints as to some other strategies that you can use to create this lower posterior expansion.